Randy Edwards, and I wrote an article for Echoes Magazine about the 150 years of professional wildlife management in Ohio. I grew up in Ohio and spent a lot of time outdoors. And what interests me is how much the wildlife situation has changed in Ohio in just even in the past 50 years. Ohio is located between Great Lakes and big rivers. We're in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains and then it extends into the leading edge of the great grasslands of the West. As a result, we have just a wide variety of forest types, we have streams and rivers and lakes, and we have a wide variety of, of wildlife. And this wildlife sustained indigenous people in Ohio for thousands of years. But you know, it only took about 100 years for the new Ohioans, the European settlers, to, to put a big dent, frankly, in the resources that we had. They took out all the trees, or almost all the trees. Some they used for housing, some they burned mostly burn. They built mill dams uh, all up and down the rivers and creeks of Ohio and stopped a movement of fish and, and other wildlife. And of course, there were no environmental controls at the time, and so everything was just dumped in the river. Some of this abundance has never come back. At one point in Ohio, we had elk, we had bears, we had mountain lions, we had wolves. These species were driven out of Ohio in the early 1800s and have never returned. Professional wildlife management in Ohio really started around fish populations. By the mid-1800s, commercial fishing was in full swing and we were already seeing the decline in some of the major species like muscalunge and pike and lake sturgeon. So in 1873, the legislature founded the Ohio Fish Commission, which would, over decades, evolve into what we now know as the Ohio Division of Wildlife. Things were in bad shape. The forests were gone, the wildlife was gone, the water was filthy, and they wanted to make a difference and do something. So they formed the Ohio Fish Commission to focus on restocking our inland waters and streams, clean up the water, make it healthy for fish so people could go fishing, eat fish, and enjoy the outdoors. Eventually, the Division of Wildlife moved beyond fish into animals. Most of them at the time were animals that were hunted. Deer, wild turkey, that sort of thing. In the 70s, after the first Earth Day, and as we became aware that many of our species were becoming extinct, the division started focusing on non-game, non-hunted species, uh, including things like the bald eagle. And one man who has helped for decades to bring some of these species back to Ohio's landscape is Dennis Case. Hi, Dennis. Hey, Randy. You were one of the people who were instrumental in bringing the bald eagle back to Ohio. But there were many other animals and, and fish that were brought back. Can you talk a little bit about some of the other animals that have been brought back from the brink and restored to Ohio's landscape? Uh, sure. Um, some of the notable species that the division worked on were species like river otters, uh, peregrine falcons, uh, osprey, including butterflies, uh, like the Carner blue butterfly. So there are quite a few species that the division's been working on. And can you talk at all about um, how bringing back these species how does it help restore the balance of the ecological system to bring these animals back? Um, <clears throat> you really touched on it. Uh, I personally think anytime you can put back a piece, missing piece of the puzzle, uh, you, you're doing the right thing. Uh, nature evolved uh, with certain functions and interactions among species. Uh, when something goes extinct or is threatened, uh, that function. Uh, is imperiled as well. And so when you put the pieces back, you restore that whole system so that are just uh, the, the basis of life. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dennis, for meeting with us. Oh, my, my pleasure. Ohio's wildlife is something beautiful to behold. It is something to enjoy for everybody to get outside, get away from computers, 
to de-stress and enjoy nature. Just, it makes you feel better, and if you like to participate in the recreational activities of hunting or fishing or birding, it's another way to experience wildlife at a different level. The work of professional wildlife managers, both at the Ohio Division of Wildlife and at other government agencies and um, private organizations, has done a lot to bring back the natural beauty and, and diversity of Ohio and its wildlife. We still have some things to do. There are threats from fertilizer pollution in Lake Erie. We have uh, invasive insects like the emerald ash borer that are killing our trees. And on a big global basis, we have climate change, which threatens to change just about everything. So the work that's been done has been very valuable and is very encouraging, but we have a long way to go.